Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We have a wonderful show for you today, starting with the news that with the economy on the upswing and unemployment down, business leaders are optimistic about the future. So here to discuss what came out of a recent survey by 2018 business leaders is Jim Glassman, a top economist and senior economist for J.P. Morgan Chase. Good morning, Jim. So, Jim, what did the study morning, reveal Linda. about the economy? Well, it's important and interesting information because we've all known the broad economy is doing better, but not everybody's been feeling it. And I think what we're finding in our survey is that small and mid-sized businesses are more optimistic than we've seen in a long time. And that tells you that the recovery that we sort of got a feeling has been going on is spreading to many more people. So I think what's really interesting about the survey is when you listen to the challenges that business leaders tell you about, the big challenge is finding workers, retaining workers, getting people skilled up. And that tells you that uh, this optimism that we're seeing in the business leader community is going to be spreading to the worker as well. That sounds great. Now, unemployment is low. So how does the economy yep. impact the job market? Well, it is low, but I think there's still more room to go. I think that we still have these hidden populations of unemployment, young adults, folks who were working part-time involuntarily. They're not considered unemployed. So that there are populations around that will benefit from an ongoing good economy. And I think what we're going to find is that the job market, as good as it is, it'll probably get a little better. And actually, by the way, if you look at the Fed's own forecasts, what they think themselves, they are sort of envisioning the same kind of thing. Still lower unemployment, pretty good economy, not much worry about inflation. It sounds, it sounds very positive. Any other revealing highlights from the study? Well, I think another interesting find here is that folks are becoming much more optimistic about what's happening around us. So the global economy looks better to folks. Uh, we economists are watching this story play out as well. The lights are coming back on again in, in Europe. There's been a lot of pessimism about Europe and in the Japanese economy. So what that tells you is the U.S. was the first out, and now we're starting to see many other of our partners actually doing better as well. That benefits us because it means our exports are going to be doing better and they already are turning the corner. Mm -hmm. So Jim, is the stock market then a good indicator of the future? You know, the stock market is a real good indicator of what's going on right now. So the stock market responds to how businesses are performing and earnings have been recovering for a while. The business community has been doing better. We're seeing that show up in our surveys now. So it's, it's telling you that if, if, if there was a lot of pessimism about the U.S. economy and yet the equity market wasn't reflecting that. So the stock market doesn't tell you what's going to happen in the future, but it does tell you it confirms that what we think is going on in the economy and what our business leaders are telling us is for real. And it's just added information that we're in a pretty good spot. Jim, would you say it's because of this administration or the previous one that we're finally starting to see this good news? You know, I think it's reflecting a whole bunch of things. For one thing, we've been coming through a cycle. Uh, the economy is not partisan. It's got a, you know, when we, when we stumble, we get back on our feet. Secondly, there's a, expectation that we're going to see some rethinking in regulatory reform. And thirdly, we are seeing a positive response to the corporate tax cuts and reform. So I think there's a lot of things that are feeding into the optimism. It's not just one thing. It's a complicated economy. And there's a lot of things at work here. And um, this has been going on for a while. All right. Jim, listen, where can people go for more information? If you go to jpmorganchase.com slash Business Leaders Outlook, you can get more color. Well, Jim Glassman, that's a great way to start our show. Thank you so much for this very interesting news.